Hello my Earth Babies and welcome to your weekly general tarot reading. I'm going to start right now. Now as usual if you have not already done so go ahead and subscribe and make sure you ting that bell so you're notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. Okay, guys, now I have already prayed on, over these cards and shuffled, so I'm just going to go ahead and deal. Now, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, if you would like a private reading with me, as you can see down there in the right-hand corner, uh, I have my website listed, astrologyoils.com. You can go ahead and go there and make book your appointment with me, or you can go straight to Facebook and Astrology Oils on Facebook and book right there on the Facebook page. Now, don't forget about the group as well. If you are have been thinking about joining that group, um, do so pretty quickly. Um, I'm just going to be starting to make the videos for the courses and pretty soon that is going to become a paid group. So if you want in, uh, for free, get in there now. So in the future you won't be charged. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on for you this week. Okay. And you have the maiden of water and the world. Okay. So you have someone coming in. And it feels like it has something to do with your p profession uh, because the world is, is, you know, just speaking to me and telling me that you have problems at work that you've been trying to solve. And this maiden of water is going, this person's going to come in and bring new innovative ways to solve these problems and help you solve these problems at work. And it's going to turn everything around for you at work and is really going to put basically the world in your hands at that point. Um, you'll be able to really move forward at work and your bosses are going to see that you know what you're doing, you know where you're going, and um, you're a real asset to the company. So starting off, really good overall view for the week. Okay, and on Monday, you have the Six of Pentacles coming in and saying that you are coming to a place where you can really start to give back especially toward to those that are closest to you uh like of course in this in this picture on the card you know this guy is given you know the, his kids some extra money that he has for them to go out and do whatever they want with it so that's always a nice thing to have come in on you, the beginning of the week especially for a monday and then you have the Sun of Cups coming in. And the Sun of Cups is going to help you focus on where you want to go from here. What do you want to do? What is your heart's desire? Um, and really nail down um, basically a direction that you want to go in. Um, and, then, and again, I'm feeling like this, this is work, but it has to do with the relationships at work. And you're really, and you're going to be laying down a foundation, you know, when it comes to work and your place in the world. This is the Ace of Stones. This is um, a blessing for you for whatever this is that you're starting at work. Uh, it's really going to be a great foundation for you. And there's unlimited opportunity there if you really take it and run with it this week. Okay, now on Tuesday, you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups goes right along with the Son of Cups over here. And the Knight of Cups is going to come in and really help you focus and, again, help you visualize this time and fantasize about how you want to get to where you want to be. Uh, basically going to have you, um, help you to go step by step, excuse me, in how you want to take, um, what you're doing in the world and what your, your profession is and take it from, uh, point A to point B and down the line. So you have to really, he's going to help you to really sit down and think about that. 
Okay, and now you, you have the Six of Wands coming in here. And along with that, this is really good energy. You know, the Six of Wands is saying that you're going to have some public recognition. And there's you, you, you're coming in, you're, you're, you've got some triumphs there and you're having that public recognition coming in from other people and you're really blossoming and and coming out into the world and into your own there and you're going to be getting the respect that you deserve you know the nine of bows is all about respect and being shown that respect and the respect that you have earned it's not just something that has been given to you you've really worked for this and you've earned it now on Wednesday you have the Six of Swords and, and which is saying that you're moving on um, and you're leaving behind things that aren't serving you. So whether this has to do with your present job situation, maybe you're getting promoted um, and you're leaving behind um, uh, people and a job or the, the previous um, system or way of doing things that isn't going to serve you in this new position. And then you have the hanged man and the hanged man is saying, you know, if you run into issues on Wednesday, uh, don't dwell on them, you know, just, just let them go, get, move on, do the things that you really need to get done. And in time, those, the, the answers to those, those questions or the answers to those problems will come to you. And you have the five of vessels coming in. This is ecstasy. Now you are going to be at the point come Wednesday where you're feeling like there is no stopping you, especially when it comes to your work and your place in the world. Really focus and nail it down because uh, this is the way, you know, remember this feeling because this is how you want to feel from now on. So remember what you're doing at this point in time uh and nail it down remember because then you have the seven of wands coming in here on thursday um and you're going to have to defend your position you're going to have to really stand up for what you believe in and stand up for um what you're passionate about and maybe this has more to do with your family than it does at work and i have a feeling like maybe your spouse or you know, some friends are thinking that you're you're moving in the wrong direction when it comes to to your work or what you're passionate about. So you're going to have to take a stand against somebody and stand up for what you really want. And you have the Father of Cups coming in here to help you with the creativity and moving forward with what you're passionate about and backed up with the Queen of Bows. And the Queen of Bones is, Bows is really caring and um, inspirational energy that's coming in here along with this King of Vessels or King of, or Father of Cups, I'm sorry, and really helping you to come up with the new ideas that you're going to need for um this whatever you're passionate about here you know the queen of bows is all about supporting what you're you're passionate about and backing you up and 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 pushing you towards this thing that you're passionate about so you have some people that are against you but then you have you know the father of cups and the queen of bows coming in here that that have your back and are really helping you with cre creativity and pushing you and giving you that inspiration to keep going and moving forward. Now on Friday, you have the two of pentacles. You know, everything is really moving forward for you when it comes to your profession. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, things are really starting to turn around and look, look up for you when it comes to your profession. And you have the daughter of wands coming in here and, you know, um, again pushing you towards what you are passionate about she's going to help you gather everything you need and focus in order to go after your passion and you have the king of bows coming in on saturday that is telling you telling me that you have a leadership position that is going to be 
being offered to you. So maybe that's what you've been preparing for since Wednesday. You know, your your bosses are giving you the respect you've earned and, and showing you that respect and you're moving on and you're going to start that new position. Um, that new leadership position is going to be either you're either starting that on Friday or it's going to be offered to you on Friday. Now this weekend, you know, the nine of wands is saying, you know, don't get over don't get too carried away get your rest make sure that you have what it takes to move on so this weekend take it easy um just relax and make sure you're getting your rest so you so you are able to once you start uh that new position you have what and have the passion and have the vitality to get it done and as long as you follow the nine of wands and you have the star coming in and you're going to feel really refreshed and um, there's a sense of renewal coming in from the star, um, you're, you're going to be just feeling like you're being guided by the divine. And then you have the wanderer coming in here telling you, now, don't be afraid of, what, of all of the things that are new coming in for you in the coming week. Um, you have what it takes. You have everything it takes in order to um, manifest anything you want. And you have the divine that has your back along with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed that reading. Before you go, don't, um, don't forget to watch more Earth Sign videos. Subscribe, like, and share.